Are you? No, no, no. I, I'm not happy. You're covering your face. Yeah. I feel actually quite uncomfortable with you being here. What? You're filming me without my permission. And that's it. Okay. Leave me! I got more. Get the f away from uh, me! What are you doing? You're blocking traffic no, now. you're starting shit! Ma'am, you started the poop Do with your... Do not get anywhere near me! Karens represent a distinct and recognizable archetype that consistently serves as a source of humor and satire. Whether it involves road rage, an inability to adapt to public standards, or a pronounced sense of entitlement and privilege, Karens never fail to capture attention. In this video, we will explore how Karens react in various situations, shedding light on their unique behaviors and the social dynamics at play. Welcome to Audit Oblivion. Our first video comes from Cart Narks, a YouTube channel dedicated to highlighting people's reluctance to return their shopping carts. When Cameron approached this driver, he had no idea what he was about to capture. That doesn't win. That's not where the carts go. No, but there are people, they pay people. To okay, get the man. Let me explain. We hear this all the time. Oh, listen, buddy, listen. I get what you're saying. Thank you. I get what you're saying, but. But. There's no, I don't know. Really give. They, oh, you don't they, care? No, because they pay people. Well, now, ma'am, when you go to the. Collect them. Sure. Listen, but, I get a kid that I gotta get back to. Oh, is there, is there a kid starving to death or something? No, but, uh, no. They also pay, do you pee on the seat when you use a public restroom? Because they pay I people to clean it. that shit up. That's disgusting. That's the same idea. Ah, gotcha. In the video, the driver asserts that she does not need to return her shopping cart, arguing that the store pays employees to handle that task. The situation escalates quickly when Cameron attaches a magnetic sticker to her car prompting an intense reaction. That's a bumper, man. Oh, no, you now you're littering. Don't be a litter bug. Here, I'll put one on the back of your car here for you. Doodly. Madam. Knock it off right now. now I mean it. Knock I will if you take off. your cart back. Would you like to do that for me? Knock it off. Knock what off? Be Don't a responsible person? Touch my stuff. That's okay. It's for you. See, it's got our phone number on it. You Don't call. bother me right now. I mean it. But you're bothering people by blocking the spot. Do you understand the correlation, madam? You're starting this shit. Back the f You started it with your cart, ma'am. All I did was That's ask you. What they pay people for. But ma'am, what's your name? Leave me the f alone. Wait. I mean it. Okay. Leave me. I got more. Get the f away from uh, me. What are you doing? You're blocking traffic no, now. You're starting shit. Ma'am, you started the poop Do with your. Do not get anywhere near me. I. How about this? Stop. Stop! Do you want to have a conversation, be civil, or do you want to yell like do a big old sour touch puss? Me! I didn't touch you. I never have. You're touching my shit. Stop! And someone else is gonna touch you with, with your cart when they try to go in there. Stop! Well, well, now get away! Sir, did you see her what she did with her cart? Get out of there! See now you're you're overreacting. You're falling for her tricks. Things are about to reach boiling point. Let's keep watching. What about? That's what I'm talking what about. It's the carts. Stop it! Madam, will Leave you? Leave me the f alone! Madam, why are you? People? Why are you Leave reacting this way? Why are you not? Leave me alone. Why are you not addressing the situation life. with the cart? You make it hard for others. Don't come near me again. By not coming near you. Do not come near my car. What about the cart? I don't give, dude. They fucking pay people. I told you Leave the analogy. Me alone. Do you throw trash on the ground because they pay people to pick that up too? No, they don't pay people to pick it up. Then what are garbage men for? Shut the fuck up and leave me. Alone. Get Madam, away from me. Madam, I'm not okay. Tell you what, I will leave you alone if you want to take the Stay. cart back. Away from me. Madam, you're blocking traffic again Dude, here. Dude, do not come near my fucking car. Why are you so angry? Because you won't leave me alone. Yeah, I will don't leave you alone. I will leave you alone if you take your cart back. How about that? If this is not an overreaction, I don't know what is. If she really wanted to leave, she'd just drive off and remove the magnetic sticker once she got home. It's a magnet. It's got our bumper magnet so they didn't return my shopping cart like a jerk. Me. I was going to use it. Dude. Why are you antagonizing me? I'm not antagonizing me? you, ma'am. I'm trying to get you to react. And uh oh, what's going on here? What are you doing in your car? Yeah, I'm gonna hurt you in two seconds. That's against the law, ma'am. What you're doing is harassing what me. What I'm doing is being a public servant and helping you learn not. your lesson. You're being Leave a big me. old. You got your point. No, but you have. I would have my point if you would take Why your car back. See, what you're doing is she's doing a classic you're thing. Away from me. By overreacting, <gasps> by overreacting, what you're doing is trying to give a make yourself into the victim. When everybody with the cart's the victim. What? Surely this interaction is agitating other drivers who are trying to leave the parking lot. Another driver defends the female driver. Yes, Let me explain. You don't know the yes, whole story. You. Yes, you yes, do. You. How do you know? I don't care. Yes, you do need to care. care. Because I don't care. I'm a random person. I don't exactly. Care. People have to go. That's why I'm Move. stopping. That's why I'm stopping. Okay. Because she's. I'm acting responsible. You know who's acting the fool? Is the person who left their card out. That's who's acting the fool. Sorry, I had to 
set her straight. Autistic, ma'am. First off, it sounds like you're using that word as an insult, number one. No, I'm not. Just my niece, I have family who's autistic. And I'm they, and, are people. they, and are they fans? Autistic, I'm a fan I'm of law and, and order. That's mentally disabled. Ma'am, people who leave their carts out are mentally disabled, and also I feel like you're still trying to use that as an insult. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah. now, see, now you're being sarcastic. I'm saying that people who leave their carts out, because you know, I, was, I worked in a, in a grocery store. So did I, yes. They pay people. Okay, ma'am. That's the same. Uh, yeah, they also pay people to, to pick up trash. Do you, do you litter? No. Do you pee on the seat because they hire maids to clean up after you? When you use a hotel room, do you, do you trash the hotel room? They, they, they hire maids to pay up and pick up after you? That's totally Those are exactly similar analogies. Your kid messes up his room. Do you say, oh, you're the parents. You, you, you pay the mortgage so you can clean up after me because it's my, your mess now. Pick up after yourself is all we're asking. They have the cart returns for a reason. Thank you, they should do it. Yes, thank you. No, I said they should do. Should do what? They have cart returns. Yes, that's right. And they shouldn't leave them blocking spots. I think returning your cart is a simple act of courtesy that helps maintain order and safety in the parking lot. It's about respecting shared spaces and considering the impact of your actions on others. I am not giving you permission. Do you understand? You switch this off now. Well, oh, I didn't give her permission. Do you switch this off? Can you switch this off now? Switch it off. Switch it off. Switch it off now. Well, how come switch she... it off now? Come she switch it off now. Do you want to wait for police here? With our first video behind us, it's time to move on to our next example. Our next video takes us to England, where EA Audits encounters company staff who are adamant that he should not be filming them in public. All right. Uh, just the, the surrounding area. Why are you taking photos of this truck? Why are you taking photos? Uh, just, yeah. Stand, right, stand back a bit. Yeah, stand back. Yeah. Why, why are you taking photos of our unit? Who are you? Um, uh, I'm a member of public. Yeah, but you can't take it. This is pub, private property. Where does it say that? Well, I'm saying it. You know, I'm saying I want 50 quid. Well, you're not getting 50 quid. Well, you've got to get private right. property. Glenn! Call Trisha! What's, what, what, why are you calling this, Trisha? Who, who, who are you? And Member of public. Public? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yep. Along. Are you recording? Yep. Why? Because I don't need a reason, do I? You do? You're recording me. I don't want you recording me. Why did you come up to me then? Huh? Because we're high security and I... High security? Yeah. Well, what do you do here? I'm not telling you what we do here. Why not? Not allowed. You're not allowed? No. Could you call? Did you come in? Why is it, why, why is it, if it's high security, why have you got it on show from the... You turn, your, turn that around? What, are you security? Huh? All right. If it's high security, then why have you got it visible from the uh, public? Yeah, yeah. Hello. Are you Trisha? Yes. Hello. Are you okay? Are we recording this? Yeah. Can we stop doing this? Uh, no, no. I'm afraid not. Pardon? I'm a cameraman. That's what I do. Can you stop this, please? I'm not giving you permission for this. Do this I need permission? This my choice. I'm outside and I'm not giving you permission for this. Can you stop this now? For context, EA Audits attends an industrial complex that houses several businesses. The area is publicly accessible and is not restricted in any shape or form. But you try telling a Karen that Karens are well versed in legal nuances of English legislation and they will do anything to uphold their right. Let's keep watching. Why, would, why are you finding the police? Making false reports to the police is a, is a oh, criminal yeah. offence. Um, I need you out of here. I've got something. Oh, I see. You're going to start filming um, me now, are you? Is that your is that your phone? Yes. Well, how come she's finding she's she's. Hiya, hiya. Um, she's just leaving because this is the yeah, she can. Yeah. Can how come she's filming me then? Then you leave, please. Yeah. Okay. Where's Bat's sister? And what's your name, sorry? My, my name's Hugh. 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 Yeah. And why are you here? Why are you cut her in the face? I'm filming. Why are you here? Because she's filming me. Why are you here? Uh, to make a film. For who? Eh? For who? For my, for my camera. For who? For my camera. That's not... What's she doing your oh, camera? For, oh, for it's a personal project. But what project is that? Do you have a permission to do this project with us? I don't know. I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't, I don't know who you are, know. so I could... I want to know who you are and why you're filming you. this. And who gave you permission to film this? You have to have the permission. I want to know who gave you this permission, please, now. Who, who, what do you mean permission? Who told you that? Uh, who you are 
And why, why you. are you covering your face? Because like, she's happy. filming me. I'm not, she's, what are you doing? Well, we protect her. I'm not happy what you're doing, actually. I feel quite uncomfortable. Okay. And I want to know why, why did you, you come here? up to me then? Because you shouldn't be here. Well, this I'm, is private. You yeah. shouldn't be Where here. Where did you say that? How do I Can know? Can you that? not see? No. Can you not see? How do I know? How do I know it's private? Who you are and why you're here. Switch it off now. Well, well, how come Switch she... it off now, please. How come she's Switch it off now. I want you to leave now. And right. you switch where's, the, where's the designation? Oh, you want to wait this, for police? Here? What's this line? What's what, this line? Do you want to wait for police here? Well, she's yes, rang the, and I want to know, do you want to wait for police? Has she rang yes. the police? And I'm not happy. I'll uncover your face. Has she, has she rang? Has she rang Who the police? Who gave you permission to be here and cover your face? Uh, Who? Oh, who gave you permission? Who gave you permission to be here filming and covering your face? I, I, <laughs> I did. And uh, who you are? You. Your full name, please. You, who, 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 Mr. Jars. No, that's not. That's not your full name. Yeah, it is. That is. That's absurd. Do you got no permission to to film any trucks, and you're actually doing this? Okay, then just make it clear to you. So, yeah, look, she's filming me, look. Yeah, we are. Right, no? right. Because right. you're so going you to straight so to the police with you. We, actually, you are, right. I feel quite right. intimidated and you... Okay. Under, right. Because you're breaching you, the... Uh, you're, you're, reach, you're breaching the GDPR rules. Correct. <laughs> you're, re you're breaching GDPR rules. So why are you filming? Well, why, well, why, I mean, that's a bit why hypocritical, isn't it? Uh, because I'm allowed. No, you're not. Well, because she's filming me. I'm not filming you. Well, where's the property? Where does the, I've asked, where's the property? Where does, where does it start? This is where the trucks are. How do I know that? Can you get off the property? Yeah, right. Where's the designation line? Where's the designation line? Well, you can see it's there. Well, how do I know? Can you just get off our property? Well, how do I know? Take this off please. Take this off. 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 Can you just okay. go? Well, she's breaching GDPR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not breaching GDPR, I'm a member of public. Is this it here? No, it's over there. It's not over there. there. It's the I'll stand on this pathway. And you're not allowed to film nothing here, do you understand? Really? Yes, really. Who told you that? I'm telling you this. Yeah, I know, you're telling I'm me, but like, who told you? When you're talking to me, I'm covering your Who told you that that's the case? Your privacy and your security is up, is your Why responsibility. Are you about security? What because do you know about security? You, that's your you responsibility. It's not my responsibility. Yeah, I'm actually quite feeling it's just embarrassing. Go, just find a place. It's not. Go. Why? Why, why, why would you find a place? Because you're on private property. No, I'm not. This I'm on a pathway. You've you been and you're filming private property. You asked me to leave. I left. And now you've got your face covered for some reason. Yep. I don't because know why. Because she's filming me. No, she's you've actually breaching GDPR. Okay, right. Breaching GDPR. And you're recording us. That's. You're recording us. Well, I might. Am I subject to GDPR, am I? Don't know what GDPR is. Really? No. Well, well don't. We'll, we'll, we'll get back in the truck then. Well, I'm actually just going to walk away from you because you're actually not worth the breath that we're using up on you. Right. Well, your security you, and your privacy is down to you. We'll just get him off I won't come back on. I know you won't. Oh, is that a threat? <laughs> not a threat, it's a promise. Ah, right. oh, here we go. <laughs> I've heard that one a thousand times. A few more times in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, is that a threat? Can I just go Threatening behaviour, isn't it? Look, what are you getting so angry for? What's your name? Ah, oh, here we go again. You haven't got to give me your name, but I've got to give you mine. Well, I have to now, because like, if I was to leave for like, thingy, I'm recording the trucks, look. I'm recording it, look. Recording it now. You got your legs up, you got your back up. Yeah, see, that's what you should have done the first time. You see, if you'd done that, then you'd, then you'd have looked good on YouTube, but now you're going to be like all over social media. You'd have looked good on social media, and now you're just going to look like, uh, like, like a, a, a Mrs. Bossy Boots, aren't you? This interaction is far from over. As the company staff escalate the situation, they bring the head of security into the mix. Things are about to get really heated. Let's keep watching to see how this encounter intensifies. Hello. Hello. Right, I'm, I'm here for security. Oh. I need to know what you're doing filming our site. Uh, making a film, yeah. That's, that's... Why are you making a film? You have no right to make a film. Well, that's a follow-up question, isn't it? Um, it's a Why person... are you making I've... a I will answer Why it then. It's, a, it's a, a personal project. You don't have any right without permission to who, who film told you that? site for a personal project. Who told you, you, you that? You have no permission to film anything. What makes you think that? Well, I know that for a fact. It's, Do you? It's, it's the regulations regarding um, CCTV and, and filming. You cannot do that without permission. I, I don't even know who I'm speaking to, like, you know, what company I'm speaking to yet. Well, 
why are you filming this if you don't know what company you're talking because about? Because I was just walking past and like this lady came out and said like stop filming and and then this, this other lady here has filmed me on her own personal phone. Let me explain something Breaching here, GDP. but let's, will you just be quiet please? <laughs> we, are, we are a regulated site. We, we operate, um, to, we deliver direct to aircraft. You do not have permission to Well, that's interesting. We are that's regulated by the Civil Aviation Authority. Right, well, that's All interesting. Right. Film, no, let me just speak, please. You do not have permission to film at our site, and the police will be contacted. Now. What what crime will you be reporting? You stop filming what, now. What crime will you be reporting? Shut up and listen to what I have to Don't say. Don't be so rude. I'm not, no, I'm not, no, I'm not even going to bother speaking to you now. No, no you're dismissed, madam. You're dismissed. You you're you're dismissed. <laughs> you're dismissed. I'm recording this, madam. It's going to go on social media, so be careful what you say. Do whatever. Right, what's your name? What's, what's your name? You what's your name? What's your you name? What part of the law? Ah. The police will be called. Can you identify? Can you identify? No, I won't, madam. Well, can you identify yourself, please? You identify yourself. You're breaking the law. My name's Hugh. You identify yourself. To You're me. working for a, an establishment. I believe that it's a professional approach to like to identify yourself, at least when you're speaking to a member of you public, which you should do with a bit more respect. You identify yourself to me. You I just told you. By filming my site. I've just told you. Now you identify yourself to me. I've just told you what my name is. You I've asked you who you are. What I've just you're told you. And you cannot answer me. I've just told you. You have no permission to film my regulated site. Do you understand? Whose permission you are do I need? Breaking the law. Whose permission? You do not have permission. Whose permission? With the camera and film whoever you like, whenever you like. God, whose whose permission would you like me to get? <laughs> you don't have permission. You have to have my no, permission. No, but like I have to have your side. permission. Do I? I don't know who you are. Right, you have, you have not requested permission from me to film our site. I don't need your permission. Or anybody else? I'm in public. You are not allowed to film our site because we work under strict. Security guidelines, and it's a secure site. You are not permitted. It's not to a secure site. Place. There's nothing round. There's no fence or gates or or any sort of uh, uh, stopping me it's from. A secure site. It's not a secure not site. To film at my site. It's an open it's plan site. site. It's an. Have you been here? It's an open plan site. Once the head of security mentioned that this was a secure site, despite it being completely open to the public, it became clear what sort of person we were dealing with. As you might guess, the police were summoned to the location, and this is where things get really interesting. The arrival of the police officer introduces a new dynamic. As the situation unfolds, it becomes evident that the officer displays and communicates a clear bias. Let's observe how this bias impacts the interaction and the resolution of the conflict. Yep. Uh, well, can, I, can you identify yourself, please, sir? Uh, my name's PC McShane, 77875. Yeah, what station do you come out of? Braintree. Very good station. Um, yeah, I'm just walking past, filming. I uh, believe you probably know what I'm doing. And uh, these ladies came out and started saying that I need, I couldn't, uh, I'm not allowed to film. Um, I'm not allowed to cover my face. Um, and, well, you know, all, all sorts of different... The covering your face, I don't think, is an issue. Yeah, I well, I had is. to. I had to do that because uh, she took image, images of me. Like, she was filming me herself as she was saying that I can't film. In which case, that's a breach of GDPR, and I'd like you to go and ask her to delete that footage. Okay, so uh, is this footage that you're filming now, is this being live streamed, or what's going on with it? No, it's not a live stream. Is this... But uh, I, is I this don't a, answer is, questions. It, I don't need to answer questions. Is this a recording, is it? These people have wasted your time by calling you, and you've turned up within five minutes when there's people being burgled around the corner who aren't even seeing police when they turn up, when they make calls for crimes. If people are being burgled... Why are you here, sir? So we've got reports of a male... Okay. Yeah filming right is uh, that a being, crime being abusive right now they've made a false report i've being, been being I've, i have i have been filming the entire time but it's like that's the, now you know why i'm filming well, i want well, to get out excellent. the wind that's excellent isn't it yes you, you'd have avi to suggest that what they're saying is incorrect yes 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 I, I, they what they have said it's a false report and they've wasted your time both criminal offenses filming is not a crime photography is not a crime so why are, you, why are you coming over and speaking to me when, they, when three of these employees have taken images of me 
which breaches the GDPR, and I'd like to go and ask them to delete that footage. When you say GDPR, you're talking about the data protection? Yeah. Okay. What is your name? Well, uh, uh, why do you need my name? Uh, you'd have to suspect me of committing a crime. So I suspect that you've committed... Right, do you want me to show you the footage then? Hey, what, 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 yeah, what? this footage would be quite helpful. Yeah, what, what, what... So I, su I suspect it... you may have committed an ASB, so an antisocial behaviour. Right, so, what, so uh, right, what's the specifics of that allegation? That's why. Yeah, what are the that's specifics? That's why I'm requesting your name. Yeah, what are the address? specifics of the allegation? You need reasonable suspicion. So it'd be, it'd be classified as a public order offence. Right, so what's, what are the specifics of the allegation? The police officer tries his hardest to extract the auditor's personal information. But throughout the interaction, the officer claims to be impartial. But in the same breath, he says that he has to protect the victims. False reports are a common denominator. When it comes to Karens, they always exaggerate to promote a narrative. No, but I've, you, I've if filmed. You've got, if you've got footage, I don't know how long this footage is that you've been recording for. I've been here for about 10 minutes. Okay, so if, if you're able to show me that footage, that'd be quite helpful. Well, what, what am I supposed to show you? The interaction you had with the three females. Right, and if I don't show you, you're going to threaten, you're going to arrest me. Is that what you're saying? I, I have no plans of arresting you at this, at this very moment. Right. So I'd like to know your name. I'd like to know your intention. I've got, right, I've got good evidence that uh, those women have taken images of me, which is against GDPR. Like, so, you know, I, I, I'm asking you to, to delete so that footage. this building here, do you have interest in this building? Is there any no, particular no, reason? No, no, I've only just turned up. I've only just turned up. Do you know, you don't, do you know what I'm doing? I don't know. Really? No, I, I've never met you. I don't know who you are. Are you filming, sir? Yes. Are you supposed to tell the person that you're filming, the data, the data handler? I'm obviously, obviously I know the laws on filming. Surely you know what I'm doing. I, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I don't. Well, there's, there's, a, there's a band of people go around filming, all called auditors. Mm -hmm. You've ever heard of those people? I believe so. I, I, I haven't think, identified I may, I myself. I may have seen some videos of some. Right. Now, so if you, if, I, I think it's a very good idea that you watch them. I was surprised that you... How long have you been on the force? Uh, a while, but obviously I can't... I don't have a, a massive amount of time to watch videos all the time. An additional unit arrives to support the initial officer in his investigation. The sheer amount of resources wasted on false reports and allegations is staggering. <clears throat> and denied being on double red lines. <sighs> so what's your plans then? Uh, just to point out that leaving your engine idling and parking on W red lines is not is against the law. Yes. Yes. What's if you put your lights on, then you can do it. It's an emergency. Madam, you've got to... Are they, are they from the same station as you? No, Thank they're from a different one. Really? The officer insists on obtaining the auditor's personal information. I think this officer will soon realize that the only way he is going to get access to personal information is by arresting the man. If you suspect me of committing a crime or, or, or you think I have committed a crime, then I'll be forced to give you my name. That's but be, because, of, yeah, because of legal matters, um, I would obviously expect you to do that first. Yes. Um, because you know, using your power of arrest um, as a threat is yeah. a is a, is a, against the law. It's and in it's, itself. And it's the last resort in a lot of case, in a lot of cases. Yeah. But if we do suspect that somebody has been involved in antisocial behaviour, yeah. it is a requirement for us to, to get their name and their address. Right. But and despite the fact that I'm showing you the evidence, you haven't shown me any evidence, have you? Right. But like that's what I'm saying to you. Like if you if you use your power of arrest to threaten me to throw, to show this evidence, then I can sue the police after after doing that. So. Yeah. I mean, you can show me, you can show me the footage I can now do, if you want. But I can do, but only if you're going to use your power of arrest as a threat. So you want me to threaten you with the power of arrest? No, of course I don't. Of course I don't. What no. I'd like you to do is go and speak to those, those, members, of, those members of this uh, establishment who have made a false report and uh, wasted your time by, by doing so this. So we're impartial, we're right in the middle. We wasn't here at the time, so right. we don't know... Whether, well, what's whether, the specifics of the allegation? We don't know whether the report... Is false, do we? Because we weren't here at the time. So those two, those two other officers are going to just going to get the specifics, okay? Yeah, okay. So, we're, we're so clear. We, can I can, can I listen in on that? As though it's about me. No, we'll, we'll stay here. Well, so am I, am I being detained? You're not being detained. Right. Okay. I'm going to go around here then. 
why don't you why don't you just like sort of like do your job instead of like sort of uh you know bullying members of the public like because you're making threats back to me now about antisocial behavior when they have when i've been filming the entire time so i've got good evidence to to, to display that i haven't been rude to them they put me on the yeah, phone if you could show me that I'd, be, I'd appreciate that well how can i show you what i haven't done you can show me what is on that footage which will which will clear up what has actually happened yeah yeah but like i'm only going to do that if you use your power of the threat rest as a threat because then i can sue the police for that okay so you're using the word threat quite a lot i haven't threatened you or anything i've just told well, you well, i told you you sort of are what could happen and all, all i've asked is one of their drivers simple, made some quite, threats towards me quite a simple request of your name and your your address yeah <laughs> One of one of the uh, what's your name and address? So PC McShane. Yeah. What's your date of birth, postcode, phone number, home number? So date of it, birth, phone number is irrelevant. I'm only right. asking for your name. It's and irrelevant. Your address. Right. So what? But it, it, mine is irrelevant for, for, to give to you because so, there's no crime being committed. So the difference between me and you at the moment is obviously yeah. I'm a police officer. I right. do have policing powers to try and resolve situations. Okay. Like now, and do what you, I'm saying to do you, we, you, do you agree with that? I don't agree with the way you're handling this matter. No. Um, back to your back to your name and address. Right. Is there any chance of? Well, what you, crime? You, you supply me that information. What crime do what would you suspect me of committing? So at the moment we're going to be talking to these people, see if there are any crimes. Mm, exactly. I think. If, I if, think if I, there's any reasonable suspicion, then of course I will do that. Of course yeah. I will. I've got no reason not to. I'm going to fly a drone in a minute, just around the building, just to get to, just for my video. But I, you know, I can't wait forever. So. Uh, you know, I don't know what they're talking about over there. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to be doing my droning. I've checked the drone assist. It's totally legal. They should know because uh, they're to do with the CAA, she told me. The best thing you can do is just go over there and say, like, leave him for, for five minutes and then he'll go. That's because that's what we do. That's the best way for you to handle this. And I'm being fair with you now. You know, I don't. I don't want to sue the police. It's, it's suing, they're suing the, the taxpayer ultimately, isn't it? But I'm allowed to film. Photography's not a crime. I'm not. You know, you can look. If I was rude or belligerent, I, I'd have displayed something by now. But I'm very careful, very guarded to be rude or uh, antisocial behaviour. Come on, yeah. come on. Allegedly so. Well, how's in, in what way? So I think on the crime report, it's something about um, rude and abusive behaviour. Right. And language. Right. That's just not true. That's a false report. This officer clearly has little to no knowledge of the law he is enforcing. Just look at his face when he is told about public's exemption from GDPR regulations. Should I be asking you to delete your footage? Well, I'm a member of public. I'm not subject to GDPR. That's the way it works. It's only for corporate corporation. Corporate. It's a corporate uh, regulation. This is public, isn't it? This area. So right here is public. I don't mm. know whereabouts you were, you were walking on on the on the premises. Considering the um, power of arrest, just to ascertain your name name and address. All right. Okay. I'll give you my name and address then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that that'd be right. really helpful. Okay. All right. All right. I'm not going. What? Name, name and address. Now you want now you want more. What else? Am I, name, what? And, name and address was what. I, I gave asked you address. For. I gave you my address. Your email address. Do yeah. you have a home address? Uh, no, well, no. 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 NFA. Do you live in Do you live in Braintree? See, what, you said you wanted one. You, I've asked for my name. I've given you my name, and now you're asking more questions. So name and address. I'm not answering any more questions. And saying no I've, 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 I've answered your question. Is it two tier policing? Isn't it? That's what they call this. Having conducted their investigation, all officers left the scene. No further action was brought against the person who filed the false police report and ultimately wasted taxpayers' money. Remember, recording in public is not a crime. Standing up for your rights and liberties is also not a crime. Thank you for watching Audit Oblivion. If you found this video informative, consider leaving a like. And if you are new here, subscribe for more police body cam footage.